The most fundamental difference between the 777X and the 787 begins with how their engines were conceived and how they were intended to operate. The 777X is powered exclusively by the GE9X. It's an engine developed specifically for this aircraft with no intention of being adapted to any other. From the earliest design stages, the goal was clear – to build the largest and most powerful commercial turbofan ever certified. They wanted to ensure that the engine was capable of supporting a very large aircraft, carrying heavy payloads across long distances, and still meeting modern efficiency and noise requirements. But the Boeing 787 follows a very different approach. Instead of committing to a single engine, the aircraft was designed from the outset to be powered by either the General Electric GE-NX or the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000. In 2016, Rolls-Royce began flight testing the Trent 1010 engine, which is an upgraded version of the Trent 1000. It features a new compressor system that's derived from the Trent XWB. However, this video will focus on the Trent 1000 specifically. The GE-NX and the Trent 1000 gives airlines a choice between two distinct engine architectures and maintenance philosophies while operating the same airframe. Both engines were optimized specifically for a mid-size widebody intended to fly long routes efficiently rather than maximizing passengers. The emphasis was placed on predictable performance and consistent fuel efficiency across a wide range of mission profiles. So, while the 777X engine is centered on peak performance and efficiency at the upper limits of widebody operations, the 787 engine focuses on adaptability and reliability across a wide range of routes and conditions. Both aim to reduce fuel burn and operating costs, but they pursue those goals through very different engineering trade-offs. In fact, one of the most visible expressions of this philosophical divide appears in fan size. While this difference may seem like a simple measurement on paper, it has far-reaching implications for efficiency and the overall structural design. The GE9X features a 132-inch fan, which makes it the largest fan ever installed on a commercial jet engine. This allows it to move an enormous volume of air at relatively low exhaust velocities. The high airflow improves propulsive efficiency and contributes to lower noise during takeoff and climb. It also plays a central role in the engine's projected fuel burn improvements over previous generation engines. The engines used on the Boeing 787 by comparison rely on smaller fans that remain highly efficient. The GE-NX features a fan diameter of about 111 inches and the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 measuring roughly 112 inches. The size is crucial in allowing designers to balance airflow with structural weight, nacelle drag, ground clearance as well as long-term durability across different operating conditions. Rather than maximizing airflow at all costs, these engines aim to deliver consistent performance while maintaining broader operating margins throughout the flight envelope. The GE-9X accepts challenges in exchange for maximum efficiency potential, while the 787 engines trade some airflow for predictability and long-term operational stability. This naturally raises a broader question. When you look at these fan sizes, do you think bigger is better, or do you think there's a point where the cons start to outweigh the pros? We'd love to hear you share your insights in the comments. And at the end of the video, we'll also come back to this question. While the fan handles most of the airflow, the true determinant of fuel efficiency lies deeper inside the engine core. The GE9X operates at an overall pressure ratio approaching 60 to 1, which places it among the highest pressure commercial turbofans ever certified. At these levels, incoming air is compressed to nearly 60 times atmospheric pressure before combustion that allows the engine to extract more useful energy from each unit of fuel burned. Achieving this required GE to design an advanced high-pressure compressor capable of delivering extremely high compression with fewer stages than earlier engines. This helped reduce weight and mechanical complexity, but it also demanded extraordinary manufacturing precision and tight tolerances. The engines used on the 787 take a more measured approach. Both the GENX and the Trent 1000 operate at lower overall pressure ratios than the GE9X, but they achieve efficiency in different ways. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 uses a three-shaft architecture that allows the fan, intermediate pressure system, and high pressure system to rotate independently at their most efficient speeds. The General Electric GENX uses a more conventional two-shaft design 
that simplifies mechanical layout and has proven effective across a wide range of operating conditions, particularly during climb, descent, and other off-design scenarios. At these pressure ratios, temperature becomes one of the most serious challenges facing engine designers. Combustion temperatures inside modern turbofans exceed the melting point of conventional metals. This makes thermal management a defining factor in engine efficiency and longevity. The GE9X addresses this challenge through extensive use of ceramic matrix composite materials and critical hot section components so the engine tolerates higher temperatures with less cooling air. According to manufacturer data, this reduction in cooling air allows more compressed air to be used for combustion improving thermal efficiency. However, ceramic composites are expensive and difficult to manufacture, and they're still relatively new in large-scale commercial service. Their long-term behavior under repeated thermal cycling continues to be evaluated despite extensive testing. The 787 engines adopt a more conservative strategy. Instead of pushing temperatures higher, they rely on advanced metal alloys, refined cooling passages, and proven thermal barrier coatings to manage heat precisely and predictably. This approach may sacrifice some peak efficiency, but it produces longer intervals between major maintenance events. On paper, all of these engines represent substantial efficiency improvements over the generations they replaced. The GE9X was designed to deliver roughly a 10% fuel burn improvement over the GE90 engines used on earlier 777 variants. This was possible because of engine advancements and aerodynamic improvements on the 777X. The 787 engines tell a different story. The GENX and Trent 1000 contributed to fuel burn reductions in the range of 15 to 20 percent compared to previous generation wide-body engines in their class. That way, the 787 could operate routes that were previously uneconomical for larger aircraft. But an important distinction should be made here. The 787 has accumulated millions of flight hours across global airline service, meaning its efficiency figures are supported by extensive operational data. The GE9X is still building their long-term service record, so some performance metrics remain projected rather than validated across decades of use. Both aircraft were designed under increasingly strict international noise and emissions regulations. The GE9X reduces noise primarily through its large fan and lower exhaust velocities, which help limit acoustic energy during takeoff and initial climb. The 787 engines rely more heavily on refined blade geometries, acoustic liners, as well as exhaust treatments to manage noise across all phases of flight. In service, the 787 has earned a reputation for particularly quiet cabins that are influenced by its engines and its composite fuselage and vibration damping design. These include noise-reducing chevrons on its engine nacelles as well as an air inlet lined with sound-absorbing materials. Design choices like these mean that quieter mixing of exhaust with ambient air is promoted. Boeing says these technologies make the 787 significantly quieter, both inside the cabin and in surrounding areas. Maintenance costs, reliability, along with predictability, often matter more across a 20 or 30 year life cycle. The GE9X was designed with fewer compressor stages and fewer fan blades than predecessors which can simplify inspection and maintenance tasks. However, its advanced materials may require specialized repair capabilities, particularly during the early years of service. The engines used on the 787 benefit from long-established support ecosystems, including service models that focus on engine availability rather than repair events, reducing financial uncertainty for airlines. Engines do not exist in isolation. They are shaped by the aircraft they serve. The 777X is optimized for high-capacity and long-range missions with heavy payloads. The design philosophy of its engine reflects that role by delivering high thrust efficiently at large scale. The 787 was designed to connect cities directly with lower passenger volumes, so its engines operate closer to optimal efficiency across a broader range of routes. And that question from earlier, a larger fan can improve efficiency, but it also introduces higher bending loads, increased structural stress, tighter ground clearance margins, and greater sensitivity to aerodynamic distortion during certain phases of flight. The engines of the 777X and the 787 represent two responses to the same challenge. But at the end of the day, all three engines show that modern aviation is shaped less by single breakthroughs and more by the choices engineers make. About scale, materials, operations, and how aircraft are actually flown over time.
If you found this breakdown useful, like the video, subscribe for more in-depth aviation engineering content, and let us know which engine philosophy you think will define the future of long-haul flight. The Boeing 777X is powered exclusively by the GE9X engine, which was developed by General Electric specifically for this aircraft and no other. From the beginning, the goal was to push size and airflow along with pressure ratios further than any commercial engine before it. Boeing wanted to create an engine that could support the 777X's increased wingspan and payload as well as its increased range. The Airbus A350, on the other hand, uses the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine family, which comes in different thrust ratings depending on the aircraft variant. Instead of building one extreme engine, Rolls-Royce focused on creating a highly optimized design that was adaptable and could deliver efficiency plus reliability across a wide range of long-haul missions. This difference already tells us something important. Boeing and GE pursued scale and peak performance, while Airbus and Rolls-Royce focused on balance and operational stability. Ultimately, both approaches aim for efficiency, but they get there in very different ways. One of the most visible differences between these engines is fan size, and it plays a major role in how each engine behaves in flight. The GE9X features a massive 132-inch fan, the largest fan ever installed on a commercial jet engine by GE. This allows the engine to move an enormous volume of air, but it does so at relatively low speeds to increase bypass ratio and improve fuel efficiency. At the same time, it also helps to reduce noise. The Trent XWB's fan is smaller and measures around 118 inches. Despite the small size, it is still highly optimized for airflow efficiency. Rolls-Royce deliberately avoided pushing fan diameter to extremes and instead chose to balance size with structural predictability and durability. But why are these numbers important? A larger fan can definitely improve efficiency, but it also increases structural loads and manufacturing complexity. Engines also become sensitive to distortion at cruise. Rolls-Royce accepted slightly less airflow in exchange for tighter control over vibration, blade stress, and long-term wear. So the question becomes, is it better for an engine to be more efficient or more reliable and long-lasting? We'd love to open a discussion about the pros and cons of these design choices and hear your thoughts in the comments below. Later in the video, we'll discuss this further. While the fan handles most of the airflow, the engine core is where fuel efficiency is truly determined, and this is where the two engines diverge even further. The GE9X achieves one of the highest overall pressure ratios ever seen in a commercial turbofan of almost 60 to 1. This means the incoming air is compressed to more than 60 times atmospheric pressure before combustion so that the engine can extract more energy from every unit of fuel burned. To make this possible, GE designed an advanced high-pressure compressor that achieves this with fewer stages than previous engines. This is necessary because fewer stages reduce weight and mechanical complexity, but at the same time, they also require extremely precise manufacturing and tight tolerances. The Trent XWB operates at a slightly lower pressure ratio, but it uses Rolls-Royce's three-shaft architecture which allows all three of the fan, intermediate pressure compressor, and the high pressure compressor to rotate on their own and at their most efficient speeds. This design reduces mechanical stress and improves efficiency across a wide range of flight conditions rather than focusing only on peak cruise performance. At these pressure levels, heat becomes one of the most serious challenges engine designers face. This challenge comes up because combustion temperatures exceed the melting point of conventional metals. The GE9X uses ceramic matrix composite, or CMC, materials in critical hot section components that allow it to operate at higher temperatures while using less cooling air. Because of the use of CMCs and epoxy resins, the engine has twice the strength of conventional parts. These materials also improve efficiency since more air can be used for combustion instead of cooling engine parts. In fact, the engine needs 59% less cooling air. However, ceramic composites are expensive and complex, and their long-term behavior under repeated thermal cycles is still being studied as the engine accumulates service hours. The Trent XWB takes a more conservative approach by using advanced metal alloys and thicker titanium fan blades, along with highly refined internal cooling systems. Instead of allowing temperatures to rise higher, Rolls-Royce focuses on controlling heat precisely and consistently so that predictable wear patterns and long service life can be ensured. This reflects a broader philosophical difference. One engine pushes thermal limits to gain efficiency, 
while the other manages heat carefully to preserve durability. On paper, both engines deliver major fuel efficiency improvements compared to previous generation wide-body engines. But real-world performance is about more than published numbers. The GE9X was designed to deliver roughly a 10% fuel burn improvement over the GE90 engines used on earlier 777 models. This was largely achieved through higher bypass ratio and pressure efficiency. The Trent XWB cuts fuel consumption by about 15% compared with the first generation of Trent engines. Because of that and also associated aircraft design improvements, the Airbus A350 burns roughly 25% less fuel than similar older wide-body jets. Essentially, this translates into significant savings on fuel costs for airlines. Operational efficiency depends heavily on how engines behave during climb, cruise, descent, and ground operations, not just at optimal cruise altitude. The A350 and Trent XWB benefit from years of real-world data, while the 777X and GE9X are still building their operational record. That does not make one better than the other, but it does highlight the difference between proven efficiency and projected efficiency. Both the GE9X and Trent XWB meet strict international noise and emission standards. The GE9X reduces noise primarily through its massive fan and lower exhaust velocities, which help limit acoustic energy during takeoff and climb. The Trent XWB relies more on refined blade shapes, acoustic liners, and precise airflow control to minimize noise. These are particularly useful in cruise and approach phases. In practice, both engines are significantly quieter than earlier wide-body engines, but the A350 has gained a reputation for especially quiet cabins. This is partly due to how the engine integrates with the aircraft's composite structure. Noise reduction is as much about regulations as it is about passenger comfort and airline brand perception. But airlines also have to keep maintenance costs and long-term economics in mind. The GE9X was designed with fewer compressor stages, lesser fan blades, as well as a more simplified architecture. This is helpful in reducing inspection time and long-term maintenance complexity. However, its advanced materials may require specialized repair capabilities, especially early in its service life. The Trent XWB benefits from Rolls-Royce's long-established Total Care service model, where airlines pay for engine availability rather than individual repairs. This approach reduces financial uncertainty and allows operators to focus on scheduling and route planning rather than maintenance logistics. However, engines do not operate in isolation. Each engine reflects the aircraft it was designed to serve. The 777X's large wing, folding wingtips, and high maximum takeoff weight allow the GE9X to operate at high thrust levels while carrying heavy payloads over long distances. The A350's lighter composite airframe and aerodynamic efficiency allow the Trent XWB to operate closer to its optimal range more often and keeps fuel efficiency and route flexibility as its top priority. One aircraft is optimized for capacity and payload, while the other is optimized for efficiency and adaptability. And the engines follow those priorities closely. Remember that question from earlier? In commercial aviation, reliability and long life usually matter more than efficiency. This is because an engine that lasts longer and needs fewer repairs often saves airlines more money over time than one that is only slightly more fuel efficient but less predictable. The GE9X and Trent XWB represent two distinct answers to the same challenge of modern aviation. They teach us how to fly farther and quieter and run more efficiently without sacrificing reliability. One engine pushes size as well as pressure and materials to new limits, while the other focuses on balance and durability with proven performance. If you found this breakdown useful, like the video, subscribe for more in-depth aviation engineering content, and share which engine philosophy you think makes more sense for the future of long-haul flight.